Hi everybody and welcome. To those who are joining me for the first time here, a quick introduction. I am Pervi. I am a visual development artist and an illustrator. I love to tell stories and I started this channel to talk about all things art. So welcome and to my subscribers, welcome back. So what you're seeing me draw today is a bunch of robots. Surprisingly, I have never drawn robots before. I'm not necessarily fond of the concept of robots. And I never really had a project that needed me to draw robots before. Um, actually, that is the whole purpose of the sketchbook. So I put in some topics in the sketchbook that I don't generally draw. Or even if I do draw some of these things, I just draw them in a different style or experiment with some different techniques. But this book is all about doing something out of my comfort zone. So this was actually a lot more challenging than I thought it would be, but I'm actually quite excited. Um, I think the most challenging part was I didn't really have a concept for why I was designing these. Um, and I didn't want to get into too much detail because this is just a sketchbook drawing. I just wanted to have fun. So for these, I just thought I'm going to experiment with shapes and have fun. Uh, this was challenging, but still a lot of fun. So let's get into this week's topic. So this week I thought I'd talk about why I am an artist. I realized I don't really have an introduction video for this channel and I've never really talked about why I am doing this before. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and a little background into why I am an artist. So ever since I was young, ever since I can remember, I was always creatively inclined. I was always doing um, some sort of drawing. I was doing some sort of craft. I used to always, every summer actually, every summer break, I would be taking some sort of a class or another. It would be flower making or some sort of sculpting, dancing, or, um, you know, I remember making these aluminum wire baskets. Um, I used to, from a very young age, actually, I used to make greeting cards and uh, even sell them. Um, obviously, my parents and uh, my sister and my family always got handmade cards, uh, stuff like that. So I was always creatively inclined for sure. Even my choice of TV shows since I was really young have been obviously cartoons. I've watched a lot of cartoons, uh, Popeye being my absolute favorite I remember it used to play at seven in the morning so even when I was not actually I could do that only when I was not going to school so when I was not going to school and during my breaks I would wake up to watch the 7 a.m show of Popeye that was my absolute favorite um, the other one I really liked was um, Dexter's Laboratory and I used to always think oh my god this guy is so cool you know he has this whole secret life and this secret lab that nobody knows about and I'm such a boring child, right? I have nothing like this. So um, I remember in my apartment complex, uh, we were kind of amongst the younger kids. Um, and there were a, a few kids who were older than us who made this little tree house. Uh, and I remember we used to all go up there and have these secret meetings. I have absolutely no memory of what we used to discuss and what was so secretive about it, but it used to make me feel so cool. You know, almost as if like it was my lab and that was so much fun. So I watched all of these cartoons, but I also watched a lot of, you know, cooking shows, home decor shows. So even my choices of TV shows was always something to do with more creative things. And I've said this before. And I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to probably keep repeating it all my life. But I have been truly blessed with the most wonderful and supportive family. My parents recognized uh, how happy all of these things made me and how creatively inclined I was. That they actually supported me and pushed me more into doing things on the creative side. Now, obviously, when I was young, I wasn't exactly sure 
what field of creativity I wanted to get into, but I always knew it was something to do with art or, you know, something creatively inclined for sure. And my parents were very supportive about that too. So they would find out all of these things and um, they found out about the exams I had to give if I wanted to get into an art school. So they always, always supported me in my creative endeavors for sure, which is why I actually ended up going to art school and I started taking all of this a lot more seriously. Also, as a child, I was surrounded with so much diversity my parents spoke different languages so they were culturally from different backgrounds so we used to celebrate a lot of different kind of festivals i had neighbors from all of these kind of backgrounds so i was i was always surrounded with so much diversity so that meant that much variety in food and that much variety in um, stories I used to hear and all of these festivals and by the way I would celebrate each and every one of them because it was so much fun and when I was young they used to tell me all the reasons and stories behind each of these festivals and I think that is what you know really really pushed that interest in me about all of these stories and it was so much fun even my Storybooks, obviously, as when I was young, were illustrated and I used to enjoy the illustrations so much. That kind of translated a lot to even my school because I remember I used to be, I think, one of the only kids who used to be so excited, you know, in my um, geography paper. We had this, um, they, they used to give us maps and we had to probably you know show where a certain mountain range was or where a certain river flowed through etc and I would have these perfectly drawn mountains and I used to be the most excited about drawing these science diagrams and they were so neat but in every department you know wherever I could be creative I used to really enjoy those subjects so much so I think that led me to going to art school and I did go to art school I I think tried a lot of things when I was in my undergrad um, I started with advertising but I very soon realized that's not really what I would want to do for the rest of my life so I d did a little bit of graphic novels a little bit of editorial illustrations but none of that really clicked so I decided to do my master's and it was a huge risk for me to move from India to um, San Francisco to go to art school. It was a huge risk because I was going to stay away from my family and so far away from them. It was also a big financial risk. But I remember asking myself this question that, you know, even if five years down the line, if this turns out to be a really big mistake, am I going to regret it then? Or am I going to regret never giving this a shot? And the answer was so clear, right? I, I did not mind the risk because I just knew how much I wanted to do art. That was always, I think, very clear. I probably wasn't sure what field, what exact field I wanted to go to, but I always knew this is what I wanted to do. In a previous video, I talked about how to deal with setbacks. And if you've seen that video, you probably know that the last three years have been a little tough, right? And through those years, obviously, I've had times where I would ask myself, is this really worth it? You know, um, we spend so much to go to school and the returns always are not exactly that high they don't come in that quickly we all know that so is this really worth it but then every year I've had this little bit of a reminder of why I chose to do this I had an Etsy store before and through the SF Etsy group I participated in this pop-up show in the city and I remember I had the most amazing time so many people came to me and they were so involved with my illustrations and it was so satisfying to see them live all those memories just through my one 
illustration. People coming by and telling me, oh, I remember when my son did that, he would push the stroller around all the time, everywhere, and telling me all these stories around that. And it is so much fun. It was so satisfying to see them live all those happy memories through my one illustration. That was, I think, one of the most satisfying shows I have done. It did not matter how much I sold. It did not matter whether I made uh, the money back or all of that. It just reminded me through all of that difficulty that this is why I was doing it. You know, if through art, really, if we can transport someone to live one of those happy memories, even for a little while, I think it's completely worth it. I remember another show I did at a high school. It was, I think, a holiday show. Um, and this young boy m came by my table and he was looking at all my illustrations. And I don't think he had done digital art before. And he was asking me all of these questions. And he was so interested and so excited about this art form. And his mom came by the table a little later and he was so sure, right? He says to his mom, you know what, mom, this is it. I know I'm going to art school. I want to do what she's doing. And that was so exciting to me, you know, that someone saw my art and was so motivated that it pushed them to finally say, no, I'm going to go to art school. That was such a wonderful thing to experience. Last year, I remember... I was kind of caught up in this whole what if tornado. That's what I call it. You know, what if this happens? And what if I never get a job? What if I'm never successful? What if nobody really appreciates my art? And what if, what if, what if, what if? And that just built up so much anxiety in me. And I realized that the only thing that helped me calm down and at least give my mind a little bit of a break was art. The only time my mind would shut up was when I was just doing my art. It, it's almost like meditation to me. I absolutely enjoy it. I felt so reconnected to my art. It was amazing. And I think this is why I can only be an artist. It truly makes me happy. I think even when I don't have the best art days or I don't get what I'm hoping for or I have to face rejections or you know my painting doesn't go the way I expect it to I just know that this is what I would want to do because it makes me so so happy and really what other career would let me design a world where a rat can be a chef and an alligator can sing jazz I think that is amazing and that is why I am an artist and I honestly don't think I can imagine myself doing anything else. So thank you guys for being here today and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed listening to my story and my art journey. If you're looking for some fun podcasts to listen to when drawing or painting, check out my favorite podcasts video. I have some great recommendations there i still listen to them and enjoy them so much that's it guys i will see you all back here next week bye